Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, why men ignore women they like. Two weird psychological phenomena that cause this. Two weird things that cause this. Um, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified of new content. I shoot about three or four videos per week, so check it out. All right, let's talk about those two weird things that men do. Um, well, let's talk about why men ignore women that they like. You know, it's interesting. I, I'm going to backtrack for a second, but I, I vaguely remember, not vaguely, I, I um, succinctly remember that about 10 years ago after my divorce, uh, well, I guess my divorce is a little bit longer than that. Basically, I've noticed that women seem to just like jerks. They liked assholes. If the, if the more you treat someone like crap, the more the women, the, you know, I'm a good guy seeking relationship and I just noticed w women would choose jerks and assholes. So men who basically ignored them, women seemed weirdly attracted to that. Now that's most likely because the, the woman in the relationship is following a pattern from her past, following a pattern from her childhood. This is one of the reasons why I want you to read the book, Getting the Love You Want by Harbell Hendricks and Helen Hunt because this talks about the Imago, why we choose men who aren't men or women who aren't right for us because we're most likely following a pattern in our life, okay? But the reality is, is most men on some level, as well as women, we want companionship, we want connection, we want sex. So because of that, we want relationship, but we might ignore people because our childhood wounds and traumas are, are suffocating us from being able to be in a healthy, happy relationship. This is one of the reasons why I highly recommend reading the book, The Hoffman Process, The Hoffman Process, so you can understand why this is all happening and you could be healing yourself along the way, okay? So you're not choosing men who are gonna ignore you that like you, okay? And this is why if you follow my work, I'm such a big proponent of personal development work, self-help and spiritual work. That's why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? You see that by Jonathan Asley. This is a journey to begin to choose better men because what's happening when a man ignores you, who likes you, is that most likely these two things are going on inside of himself. First off, he's wearing a mask. He's wearing a mask and that mask is a, a false sense of confidence because he doesn't genuinely value himself. Let's take that in. He's wearing a mask because he genuinely doesn't value himself. And this goes back to the self-love piece. Sadly, the number one emotional health issue facing both men and women alike, alike is I'm not good enough. I'm not lovable. I'm not likable. So, this is why I'm not a big proponent of the whole leaning back concept when a man ignores you because there's most likely something going on inside of him. So when you're leaning back, being all happy in your relationship, you're actually causing a rift in the relationship when he does pull away or ignore you a little bit. But I'm just giving you insight into what's happening for him, okay? Now, the second reason is most likely there's chaos going on in his life. There's chaos going on in his life. And he can't commit to commitment. He can't commit to commitment. This is why, ladies, if you want to avoid these types of men who will ignore you, who even genuinely like you, is that you have to make better choices for yourself. You're gonna to have to set a higher standard so you can choose the type of men that you don't have to worry about them pulling away. And then you have to do the leaning back game. You're not gonna do that if you follow my work because I'm all about leaning in. Lean into your sovereignty, lean into your self-worth, and lean into the understandings of the mechanics of a healthy, happy relationship. Let me repeat that, lean into the mechanics of what it is to be in a healthy, happy relationship. This is why I want you to check out this book. I haven't mentioned it in a while. The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. By the way, have you purchased any of the books that I recommend? If you need, if, if you haven't, there's a link below to Jonathan Recommends, but I, now, 
I'm going to be candid with you. I know a number of you said, Jonathan, my library is exploding with the books you're recommending. Yes, but let me tell you, this book, Untethered Soul, will change your life. And by the way, here's a rule of thumb. Only read one chapter at a time. When you're reading this book, only read one chapter at one sitting. No more than that. It's 19 chapters. It'll take you 19 days. It's 15 minutes per chapter to read. Start reading this book now because you won't have to worry about these men that are pulling away, they're ignoring you, because you're going to be changing inside out. And like I said a moment ago, you're gonna learn the mechanics to a healthy, happy relationship. This is why you have to buy the book, Eight Dates by Dr. John Gottman and Julie Gottman. Oh my gosh, do yourself a favor. Go onto YouTube after my video, type in John Gottman, Type in eight dates and watch one of those videos, one of those podcasts. It will change your life. You don't have to, here's the thing. You're watching this video most likely because you're choosing either dysfunctional men who have masks or they have chaos in their life. And I'm here to re-educate you into choosing men who are capable of being in a healthy, happy relationship. And if you need some support at that, that's my area of expertise, teaching you how to vet those men. Check out the link to the free discovery call with me because that's what I'm here to help you with. That's my job as a coach, is to teach you how to choose these men that you don't have to worry about pulling away or ignoring you or disappearing or ghosting. Wouldn't you want that? Is that what you want? Please tell me that's what you want. Post a comment, I wanna hear about it. Because ladies, I'm here to be your big brother. My job is to stand at the door on the first date, look that guy in the eye and go, motherfucker, are you gonna treat my sister with respect? Because if you're not ready to jump into a relationship, if you don't value yourself, if, you, if your life is in chaos, then you're out the door. Because I'm gonna kick your fucking ass if you screw over my sister. That's my approach. I'm a very big brother. Um, direct, I curse, I use expletives. Uh, if Hey, that's my style. If you like it, great. If not, I'm not your coach, okay? You don't need to follow my channel anymore. But if this resonates with you, I wanna hear about it, so post a comment below and post a question as well. What are those two weird psychological phenomena? I think you got it just a bit right now. All right, I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm gonna ask you to turn to someone or even a pet right now and give them a hug of love because we could all use a lot of love right now. And hugs are a great source of love. I wanna thank you so much and wishing you a super duper wonderful day. Bye-bye now.